certification. So we're renewing my certification. I am currently studying uh, the Praxis Principles of Learning and Teaching K-6. through So I did want to chronicle my journey of uh, studying and getting ready for this test. Uh, I have quite a good bit of information to uh, digest. So I'm going to begin digesting that information. Uh, as of now, I have started and I am, I'm pretty much finishing up the introduction. The introduction is dealing with, what's dealing with? It's dealing with student, students as learners. And um, I'm just trying to get the knowledge in because I'm like into my ninth year and I haven't taken a test since I started. Um, started my journey, but renewing my certification in the D.C. public schools, I do have to take my praxis, even though I um, I finished everything in Georgia and had my certification where I didn't have to take any more tests, but since I moved to the D.C. area, I do have to take another test. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm going to chronicle this journey. So I'm writing out my notes. I have my notes here. Um, I'm the type of learner where I have to write it out. I have to write it out. I have to do a lot of um, highlighting uh, and all that good stuff. And yeah. And I need to take this test in probably the next month. So let's see how it's going to go. I don't, yeah, we're about to see. Uh, all other tests that I've taken. Uh, for my certifications, I always pass on the first go round due to due to the simple fact uh, I overstudy, and I usually give myself about three months to study everything. Uh, this year, I think I just have a month, so I don't know how this is gonna go. And I had you don't even want to know how much money I have on the line for this. <laughs> I have a great deal of money on the line behind this text. So I'm going to be studying like crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't need anything messing with my uh, finances. So with that, I'm going to be studying. But look, I'm just, at, I'm just on page 19. And I got to go to like 178. So... I'm going to be praying, and I'm going to be, Lord, let me pass this test. I already know that. But I did want to chronicle, chronicle everything uh, for my test taking for the practice principles of learning and teaching. Most of this stuff I probably already know, but if you haven't did any studying, you, you don't know in times of change. So... Back when I took that test about nine years ago, some things have changed. So I'm trying to learn those new things that have changed and all that good stuff. So that's probably enough of that explaining that. Uh, so uh, we're going to start chronicle, chronicling this. And yeah, my journey on the my journey with studying for the praxis and passing it on the first go round. That is my that is my goal. That is my ambition. Um, because I can't have nothing messing with my money. Uh, and I need to be there for my kids. Because I make a very, very big impact with my kids. So with that, we don't want that falling by the wayside. <laughs> yeah, so Mm, 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 mm. I'm under some pressure. When I tell you I'm under some pressure, <laughs> yeah. But I've always been pretty good with pressure. 
with me being, that was when I was younger though. Being 42 and under pressure is a whole different story. So, uh, let's see how this is gonna go. Join me on my journey of taking my certification. Welcome to BC Public School. I found a series of videos that uh, that's gonna be on the Praxis PLT, uh, the 56-22 uh, uh, study. So all of these videos right here will be the videos that I will be studying in the upcoming month. And I'm gonna also be going through my book. I'm taking notes, many notes. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking that the videos should have it stick really well, but I know with me, uh, I have to write things out, so yeah. Good morning. How you doing? All right. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they just brought my kids breakfast, so. So I will be studying at work. I will be studying at home. I will be uh, studying every which way that I can because I have to pass this test. If I would have stayed in Georgia, I would I wouldn't have had to take this test. But since I moved to the uh, D.C. area and teach for D.C. public schools, I do have to take this test and to recertify. I can't say that the pressure is not on, because it is on. Because <laughs> I got a lot at stake. <laughs> got a lot at stake, but I'm going to study hard, hard as I can within less than a month. Jesus. I guess I could be, uh, I guess I could be studying now instead of making this video. But I'm going to make this video. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have my my videos I'm finna study. We finna make it happen. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. So this is March the seventh, and um, I do feel a little worried about my test. <laughs> the reason I feel worried about my test is because I don't think I I've had enough time to study. But. Uh, I'm gonna study like crazy until the 26th of March. Today is the, uh, the 7th of March. And the 26th is gonna be here before you know it. So I'm really feeling some type of way. Uh, I have been studying, but it seems like it's not grasping to my head or something. It's, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the, the day of the test, it'll come and do what it needs to do. But uh, as of now, a little worried, but we got a we got a, a good little time. I'm gonna be studying every day. I have to dedicate myself to studying every day because I am uh, <laughs> I'm a little worried, but uh, I have faith that I am gonna pass this test. I'm gonna look the old off this morning, but yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to. Just talk about a little bit what I'm going through with taking my praxis test. Uh, yeah, I got time to pass it. Don't get me wrong, but if I was in Georgia, I wouldn't have to be taking this test. But <laughs> but I'm in DC and I need I need that DC money. So with that, yeah, you gotta do you gotta do what you uh you gotta do strange things for a piece of change. Child. Yeah, <laughs> and right now I have to study for this practice and pass it. I always pass my test on the first go round, but this go round, I did not study three months in advance. Well, you know what? I started three months in advance, but I didn't go hard in the paint with studying like I usually do. So, yeah. We gonna make it happen. It's all good in the hood. I got faith. God gonna let me pass this test on the first go round. Yeah, God, you know my plight. You know, yeah. Cause I don't wanna have to be worrying about this. Cause I'm all, yeah. When your, uh, when your money on the line, yeah, your, your mind, yeah. But yeah, uh, 
after I take it this go round, I won't be. I, I shouldn't have to take another test for another. Shit, I shouldn't be taking no more of the goddamn test after this. I have found uh, some wonderful videos from. From Sprouts. I think this is a very, very good uh, tool to have on, on YouTube. You can go to the Sprouts videos. Uh, this one is on Skinner's Operant Conditioning. It talks about all the uh, history of education, as well as, uh, if you see right here, uh, it has, has all the information on the uh, those people who uh, contributed to uh, education. So we have who we have. We have Skinner, Operant Conditioning. We have Watson's Theory of Behaviorism. We have uh, Pavlov's uh, co Classic Conditioning. So, this is a great tool to have when studying for uh, your Praxis Principles of Learning test. So, I'll be going through all these videos, and it's already sticking to my head. I'm one week, I have one week before my test coming up this Saturday. I'm excited. Did I say I'm excited? I'm excited to get it over with. Yeah. So I think I'm going to pass on the first go around. I'm still studying my book. So right now, what I'm doing is looking at videos and um, going through the book still. Most of the stuff, when I hit it in the book, I, uh, it comes back to my memory. So, but I'm, I'm still just halfway through the book. Um, and I don't think I'm going to get to the end of the book before. Yeah. But, yeah, I just want to let y'all know that Sprouts is a wonderful tool to find videos. To, uh, and they're small little videos, but they give you uh, the major information in that small time of that video. Okay, so who, who we have right here? Watson's behavior. Sometimes in a meeting, it can feel as if no one can see you. Yeah. Right. John B. Watson famously claimed that if he were to be given a dozen healthy infants, he could shape so, them into anything. This is the information Doctors, that I feel lawyers, artists, you should look at, thieves, especially if it's if you don't have that much time. Because usually I study for my test three First, three months in advance, but I actually started later, three months in advance, but not heavily. Children. So I'm trying to cram it all in. So Sprouts videos, if you are studying for the principles of teaching and learning, because most of those videos, uh, especially when it comes to the foundation, foundations of education and who uh, created those foundations, is definitely in Sprouts. And it's in a condensed uh, video where uh, I feel you can remember it pretty good. Now, the rest of the stuff, I think you should go back and forth through the book and go back through videos in the book. And, yeah, I'm going to pass this test the first go around because they not, yeah, they not finna fool with my certification. <laughs> so, I have two days before uh, I take my test on Saturday. Today is Thursday. Uh, I'm getting my last, last minute studying in. So, I'm watching a lot of videos and going through the books. Then, right now, I'm learning about, then, about uh, to move on to the next zone step, of prox proximal which would be slightly uh, more development. In content. Uh, I'm just going through the book right now I'll take Max and going over terms that I am unfamiliar with. So, we're going to see what Saturday brings. I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to pass next this kid. But there's always so that way to area of doubt. I'm trying to knock that last piece of that area of doubt I'm trying to knock it completely out. Um, I have two yeah. days to study, but no. yeah, so I'm feeling pretty, pretty comfortable. So, like let's see. Or or we in March, and I have to have my certification. Of the world, yeah. but also affect higher order I got to pay this kiss pretty quickly. This means uh, that students can learn a lot from working in groups or so with I will teachers. Be able to a lot more than they could on their own. In and it brings us back to his, but by so the pressure is on. Scaffolding. scaffolding is defined Every now and again, a little pressure is held. 
Um, yeah, pressure can be healthy at times. As a teacher, you can use scaffolding. I've had a good amount of pressure ways. in my life. You can use it by modeling. And I've always rose to the occasion. It can be as simple as Thank walking Jesus. all your students through the steps on how to fold a paper airplane. Making sure but I they follow lie. along with all the steps. I thought I would have to be to make sure that they having this type of pressure with taking no tests as, as long as I've been teaching. To the task. But you can also simplify problems. Making sure to build on students' prior knowledge without making I have so much going on right now. In fact, solving these so, slightly more challenging with, problems can actually be rewarding to students. Uh, and another way of taking a test, the person's taking a test. That's keeping their attention on the task. Yeah, I got a lot going on right now, now, so. A beach, beach time is coming up. This means eliminating outside distractions so, or even keeping the task. So let's see if I'm going to pass this test on Saturday. But what's the point? So what I've been doing is, uh, since this is uh, the day of the test, First off, seven o'clock in the morning. So what I'm doing is, uh, what is being watching videos so I can have everything in my head. So, so a teacher is working so wrong on the uh, at some point, that three different tactics that I used for this test was then they will watching the videos, watching the videos on Scribes. Uh, also took a lot of notes because uh, I'm a visual learner, so I like to look at notes to keep it in my head to memorize the definitions of uh, of what I'm learning. So, so I watch the Sprout video, other videos too, because this is, this is not a Sprout video, but, uh, you know, videos on YouTube and writing out the definitions and going through the book read. I did not take any practice tests, because I do believe I don't want to yeah, you know, treat myself up. So I already studied and then just go take the test. I think I did pretty good on the multiple choice questions. Uh, on the essay, um, I think I did decent, decently on the essay for the simple fact. Um, I was expecting, yeah, I was expecting what I had in the past, but uh, uh, as far as essays are concerned, because the essays are different now, because the last time I took the, uh, where I, when I took the Gates, it was 10 years ago. So the format that uh, the Gates was in 10 years ago, I feel the uh, essays are in a different format now. Uh, they pretty much had a scenario. Uh, it's about four pages, four to five pages of the scenario. And they ask you questions uh, questions uh, that you can answer from those four to five pages. Uh, I think I did decently for, for it to be kind of foreign to me. Um, also, that's not enough time to take that test. <laughs> uh, that's another thing that got me because uh, once I finished the multiple choice and then went into the essay part, um, when I went to the essay part, yeah, it just, <laughs> my time was winding up and I'm like, so I got to write this, all this essay stuff within this amount of time. And I, I, I literally had maybe 27 minutes and it was, I, I think I had to do about four or five or six. It was something. It was, it was a lot. I will say that. To me, it was a lot, uh, but I got through it. I did. I was writing. I was writing a whole bunch of probably no one sees because I said I got to have something on the paper. I tried to make it pertain as much as I could because when you have those last three minutes, you like, yeah. But I think I passed. You don't see. I don't know. And uh, uh, with me taking the test today, 
I get an email today as well saying that uh, due to COVID, dealing with COVID and all that, that uh, if we don't have our certification, we won't get fired. So we have another year. <laughs> so we won't be, so if I don't have my certification, because uh, I currently, yeah, I currently have, I'm just renewing it. Uh, so with that, if it's not renewed for uh, 22, 23, it's next school year, 22, 23. Okay, what are we in? 20, 20, 21. 20, we're in 21, we're in 22, 22, 23 year school year, we would not be fired due to the fact, uh, pretty much an, another extension for, because of COVID. And we about needed it. Even though I'm passing this test and it's gonna be passed before uh, the 20, uh, 22, 23 school year. So it's gonna be passed. Now, I ain't, yeah, I ain't playing like that, but, that's great news for those who may have failed the test and uh, are really taking the test. It's just, gonna, yeah, it's just gonna give folks enough extra time to take their test. I know they happy. I know they are. Cause shit. All right. I wonder if I would have known that. Would I? Would I have uh, went to take the test? But I'm happy that I went to take the test to get it over with. And plus, if I have to take it again, I know the problems uh, that I would need to look at. Because I think I really, I feel that I really did good on the multiple choice. Uh, I really, I'm very, I really feel good about that. But, man, they say, got me right on together. So I'm happy it's over so I can concentrate on other things. I can concentrate on um, how to step with Cecil Thornton a little more because I have, um, I'm going to be doing the last episode for this season and then I can start brainstorming for the second season. I'm happy about that because I, I have not been able to touch any of that. Yeah. And this, this last, uh, this last episode, this fifth episode for how I with Cecil Thornton, uh, dealing with negative energy and dealing with, uh, negative spirits. Uh, I want to show people how to combat negative spirits and negative, um, and negative energy. And, um, I'm going to be talking about my first product. Uh, that I'm going to pre be producing is an energy cleansing and healing box that will contain uh, energy healing crystals. It will contain Palo Santo, uh, sage, and uh, a higher self candle. So, I heard that my scores are in for my um, Praxis text. So, let's go ahead and And see what what what's going on. <sighs> Let me go up. This is going to be I don't even remember my username and stuff like that, but let's see if this is going to work. Am I how do I feel? Um uh, I don't know how to feel right now. View scores. Uh, let's see. PDF scores. Uh, did I pass it or not? Lord, let me pass this thing. Score recipient and passing information. They say I pass. I 
I got to look at it right. I pass, I pass, I pass, I pass. <laughs> Woo! Know what a pass by, but I pass, I pass, I pass, I pass. Overall pass, not pass status. I pass, so I have my certification. I don't have to worry about this for a very long time. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Y'all need to see what I pass by, but I pass. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I passed my uh, my praxis for my recertification. Uh, I passed the praxis. Uh, what did I take? Principles of Learning and Teaching, grades K through six. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. I passed. Office of the State Superintendent of Education. I pass. I pass. I pass, 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 pass. So I am certified another how many years in uh, in, in, uh, in education, even though I wasn't supposed to be taking this test, but thank you, Jesus. Woo! This is such a relief. Uh, and thank you, God, for letting me pass, because, you know, <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to pass, uh, but I thank God for uh, letting that happen. Oh, this is like my weekend. So, um, yeah, this is a wrap.